Hey guys, so today I wanted to just share um, how I resolve my CPU overheating issue while playing PO2 specifically. I made a video previously that I'll link in the description below basically talking about this Reddit post here they, that they suggested uh, lowering the maximum processor state to 99%. So that is this option right here if you can see it. Uh, the maximum power state, the default is 100. When I lowered it to 99%, uh, it actually lowered my CPU temperature. So that solution actually helped me out, but I've been reading some comments saying that you should not mess with your power options just because a game is not functioning properly, which it is. Uh, PO2 currently in its state, it's not optimized, so it's causing a lot of uh, CPU overheating issues for a lot of people. So that remains an issue. However, uh, I'm also using the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X CPU, which comes with its uh, stock cooler, the Wraith cooler. And all this while, it hasn't been causing any issues until now. And I finally decided to upgrade it to a, uh, a tower cooler. And I'll link the, uh, the product that I'm using in the description as well. It only costs like $35, but it's a much better cooler for the CPU and it turns out uh, that actually resolved the problem for me. So I reverted the processor state back to 100% here as you can see and I've been playing in-game for the past 30 minutes or so and my CPU temperature remains between 36 to 72. So this is fairly uh, basically low and I don't feel the heat coming out from my PC. So it's definitely a, a big difference compared to when I was using the stock cooler from AMD. So that's just a tip. If you are using one of those Wraith coolers as well that comes with the, uh, the CPU, that is not a, a good cooler. So I would definitely recommend getting one that is compatible with your computer, your casing and, every, and everything. Uh, it'll, it'll cost you maybe like $35, $40. I'll link the product that I use in the description. So check that out. But yeah, I just wanted to share that. Hopefully help some of you guys out. But basically the game in itself, it's still not efficient. So it does run your CPU a lot hotter than, uh, than other games currently. But upgrading your cooler is definitely something you should consider as well. All right, that's it. Hope this video helped you guys out. Bye.